What does the fencing response tell us in addition to positive concussion? Of course, well, the fencing response, for those that don't know, is indicative of a loss of consciousness. And it happens in up to two thirds of loss of consciousness cases where someone is hit or rendered unconscious for whatever reason. And what happens is their arms go rigid even when they're on the ground. So their arms will go up, maybe just one arm, maybe both. But the arms will be kind of extended straight up in the air as they're kind of lying on their back uh, on, on the field. Now, this is a telltale sign from the sidelines that there's been a loss of consciousness. So even if you're doing sideline management, you see somebody get knocked down, but you see those arms up in the air like that, and they kind of gradually start to fall back down. Uh, that is what's called a fencing response. And that indicates that the brain stem was involved in the actual injury. And so um, they're not actually sure what the exact pathophysiology is behind it, but they believe it involves the vestibular nucleus within the brain stem that causes that type of uh, response. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's just a 100% indication that there's been a loss of consciousness and also a 100% indication that there has been a concussion. In terms of recovery and all that stuff, loss of consciousness doesn't necessarily predict concussion recovery times. And so uh, it doesn't necessarily have any impact on the injury itself or how that person is going to recover, uh, at least from the evidence we have currently.